bongo, bongo, boom. I'm Freha Chaudhary and welcome to another episode of The Kitchen Studio with Freha. So today we're making a super exciting dish. It's called shakshuka. It's a brunch breakfast tea dish and it's originated in, it's a Mediterranean dish. So uh, what it is, is it's eggs simmered in a tomato and pepper sauce. And we basically spice up the tomato sauce and then we crack some eggs into it and then you dip any type of bread into it. It's a communal meal. So you put it in the like, center of the table and people get to dip into it and enjoy it. So let's just dive right in. So first we're actually going to chop up a few of our ingredients. We're going to use one large yellow onion. We're going to use some cloves of garlic and two peppers. Over here we are using green and red. So we're going to chop all of this up and get our mise en place ready. And mise en place ready is like a fancy French term for saying all your ingredients are prepped and ready. Be super careful when you're cutting the onion because my eyes are already watering. And you don't really have to get perfect size cuts as long as you get it sliced. We're going to slice the peppers. So what you do is put the end out first. Let's make sure we get some nice thin slices of the peppers because this really gives that sauce a kick. and we're going to mince this garlic up. So we have most of our mise en place ready and what we're going to do is take the onions and the peppers and we're going to saute it in olive oil with the spices. So first let's put about three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to eyeball it. But we're going to put three tablespoons of olive oil in our skillet. Then we're going to put the onions and this is one whole yellow onion that we put. Make sure it's dispersed. And we're gonna add the peppers. Now you can add any color peppers you want. We added green and red so that it adds a little bit of color to our dish. So let's start with our spices. We're gonna put one teaspoon of ground coriander, which is ground honia pata actually. We're gonna put one teaspoon of paprika, and paprika is not really spicy, it's more about the smoky flavor, and it really brings out the flavor of the tomatoes when we add it. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of cumin, which is jeera, and we're gonna start mixing it up a little bit. And you can see already that the onions are starting to smell beautiful, and they're softening up, so at this point, we start adding our sausages and now we're actually adding chicken chorizo sausages and I'm just going to use my kitchen scissors and cut it up. And this is the easiest way to do it, so it's fries. Look, I used three, I got a little excited. <laughs> I'm adding a little pinch of red pepper flakes. And for, for tasting, we're adding salt, just a pinch or two, and black pepper. Just make sure you don't put too much salt or pepper because you want the actual paprika and spices to shine through. Now we're adding our garlic, our minced garlic, we added two cloves. It just elevates the dish to the other level completely. And this is our base sauce. So we're gonna add our tomatoes and tomato sauce to this. But first, this has to cook for at least 10 minutes. And now we're gonna add half a cup of tomato, crushed tomato that's canned. And what it has is it has a mixture of we're also going to add fresh tomatoes and we're going to add six vine fresh tomatoes. And 
And it's okay for the pan to keep simmering because the more it simmers, the flavor is all meshed together. This mixture has been simmering for about three or four minutes and I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of sugar all over it. And I know what you're thinking, it's gonna become sweet, but actually sugar is just gonna take out the sweetness of the tomatoes. So let's give that a little bit of mixture and it's going to simmer for about eight more minutes together until it becomes like a very luscious sauce. And then we're gonna add our eggs. So this has been simmering for about 10 minutes now and it's become super soft and it's become like a sauce. So what we're going to do is make four wells, if you may, into this. And these wells, I'm sure you know why we're making them, is to crack the eggs into. So I'm going to crack one egg at a time into the holes. It already looks really impressive. This is one of those meals which you make and everyone thinks you did a really good job and everyone thinks that but actually it's really easy. And I'm just going to cover it till the egg whites have set and become white. We don't want to overcook it but make sure that the whole egg white is at least set. The yolk can be runny. Okay, so the eggs have been cracked in and it's been about three or four minutes and obviously an impressive dish needs garnishes so what we have here is parsley Let's try to make it as impressive as possible and we have a little bit of mint and I'm gonna cover it with some salt and pepper for tasting I don't like things too salty, but if you want more, you can add it later. And we're adding pepper at the end. So usually shakshuka is eaten with breads or pita breads, but today we have a French baguette, and we're just gonna cut it up. And there you have it, our shakshuka is ready, and we've served it with a French baguette. And usually this shakshuka is served in the middle of the table right in the pan and people dip into it with whichever bread they have or they take some and they eat it. Guys, don't be afraid to get messy with this. It's gonna be spicy. Mm. That's amazing. So that's it for today. I hope you really liked our recipe. Shakshuka is awesome and impressive and easy, so if you have guests coming over, make sure you try it out and do let us know if you do. If you like our video and enjoy it, please subscribe and share it. If you want me to make anything you want, please comment in the comment section and we'll try to make it. Thank you for watching our video and we'll see you in the next episode. Bongo, bongo.